Hey everybody. Well, I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video. It's probably, I think it was almost three months since I cut this area. And I just wanted to show what's coming back. So before, it was nothing because it was all ironwood. As you can see in my piles. But we had a thick vein of aspen over this way, which now is wide open because we logged. So all that was taken out. And this was all ironwood right here. Here's prickly ash. Oh, and there's some prickly ash. But there was nothing growing. And now look what we got coming back. We got aspen right here as well. So my guess, which it's all getting browsed. You can see there. Oh, probably tough to see with my shadow. There. My guess is what happened is the seed from the aspen that's all around has been just blowing into this hillside for years. And finally, now with the ironwood out of the, the way, it was able to take off. I suppose there's a chance it could have sprouted off the root system that's likely crept this way too. But I'm guessing it was, this is seed based. So look at this, everything in here is getting nipped. All of it. And it's about two to two and a half feet tall. There's a lot of aspen coming back. I love aspen. I think it's a great deer species. I'm going this way, Noah. I think it's a great deer species. Um, we don't have a ton of it on our property. So I'm fine with that coming back here instead of, uh, you know, ironwood, which is low browse and just canopies out the, <clears throat> canopies out the understory. There's a nice little trail still cutting through here. And then we got more aspen. Oh yeah. Oh, one second. All right. So, again, ironwood cut out of here. And the aspen is coming back to... Okay, Noah, come stand over here. I'm going to show... I want to just kind of show for comparison how tall this stuff is. So there's Noah. And he's, I guess I don't know how tall he is. Over three feet tall. I'd say, yeah, uh, right around that two foot mark probably. Most of it. Some of it's a little bit taller. Oh. Well, that's, <laughs> I don't love snakes. And all of a sudden, that caught me off guard. A big old dead snake right here. Noah, check this out. Look at this big old dead snake. What? Nasty. He loves snakes. Oof. That made me jump a little bit. So anyway. I yeah, know. It's nasty. It is a garter snake. You can see. Look at this. It's just. It's going to be thick. Next year. You know. It'll probably grow another foot or so this year. But next year. This, this ridge top is going to be thick. My hope is that. Where they took the aspen out over there. That's where the doe bedding is. And I'm hoping this is just a nice little hangout area for a buck or two. Because it's a beautiful little ridge. So, yeah, it's that, it's taller over here for sure. Some of this stuff is definitely three feet. But tons of browse all over it. On these deer trails, everything's getting nipped. They love Aspen region in this part of the world. So, and you can see the sunlight coming in. That's why it's coming... That's why it's growing. Do you know how that snake died? I have no idea how it died. the bear. Oh, the bear got it. Yeah, we have a bear in the area this year. So, All right, so just showing the power of sunlight. This was just chop and drop. Got the ironwood out of here, and now the aspen are coming back thick. No more ironwood. And they logged in here, so we're going to get a lot of regen from that. The center part of the woods is mostly junk timber, so I'll probably do a lot of... A lot more cutting there and maybe uh, maybe a little hinging too. We'll see. So, but yeah, it's beautiful up here. All right, y'all take care. God bless.